Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Welcome to another video. This one is actually a little bit different and it's I want to read a comment about historical treatments that were used for asthma and it's a fantastic comment that I received and I wanted to share it with uh, everyone else because it really highlights the immense progress that has been made in the treatment of asthma over the years. And this is just to show how much people actually struggled to, to, with this condition in the past and how difficult it was to treat. Because I do get comments every now and then, people kind of complaining a little bit that inhalers are difficult to use and they're not right and there's lots of things going on. But actually, if you take a, a bigger picture view and look at the perspective from a historical point of view, you might see that things were a lot difficult, more difficult before. So we have made a great great progress. So let me read you the comment because I think it's really interesting. So, um, hello doctor, I'm a 72 year old woman who has had asthma since as long as I can remember. One of my vivid memories is when the doctor made a house call because of a severe attack I was having and he administered the needle of adrenaline. I was probably around eight years old and I believe he gave me a bit of an overdose. I could feel and see the pulse in my neck and temples and wow, I was able to breathe instantly, but my heart was certainly racing like crazy. I had a series of allergy shots over the couple of years. Uh, not sure if they were a help or not. I always struggled with breathing until while at the summer camp and going to the, uh, to the emergency room, they introduced me to a nebulizer, but it was a glass thingy with a rubber thingy at the end to propel the medic medication into the lungs. So from there, it was the puffers similar to what we have today, only they were not by prescription and cost about $5. So yeah, I mean, look, this is amazing. So, she, and then she goes on to say that basically, um, okay, well, I must say that when I, I saw the name nebulizer on one of the videos, I was wondering if that was the old kind that I first used as, as an asthmatic. So the one that with the glass and, and little pump. Right, so the first video I watched uh, on YouTube was how to use the Symbicort inhaler. So obviously this is a fantastic comment. I don't know how you feel, felt about that, but I thought it was amazing because it goes to show that there has been a lot of difficulty, you know, if you're going back 60 years ago or more, we didn't have any inhalers at all. People used to manage with adrenaline. So getting adrenaline shots and really stimulants that would force the body out of that asthma attack. But obviously that was not a long-term solution. And you can imagine adrenaline is a very powerful drug. It's very easy to give too much of it and people can actually end up having severe complications, cardiac arrests and so on, so on, so on. So it's really risky. But, you know, in a severe asthma attack in the past, we didn't have anything better. So you can imagine we've gone from there to using inhalers, to using spacers, to using all kinds of fancy devices, nebulizers that we plug in, in press a button, it releases a mist, calms down our asthma attack. So I, I just wanted to share this with you because I think it, it's 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 crazy. Indeed, it's crazy how, how much technology in medicine has evolved. And I think personally, I'm grateful for all the science that has been done over the years, all the investment that has occurred in this field to get to the point where we have these inhalers that sometimes contain even three medicines in the same device and allow people to maybe just dose on the inhaler once a day, not use an nebulizer, not use fancy contraptions with glass tubing and um, rubber pumps and other things that would Im you can imagine how difficult it was to treat asthma back in the day and how risky it was. So we have gone, come a long way and I just wanted to share this because I thought it was a fantastic comment uh, that gives us a bit of a historical perspective on how asthma used to be treated and to where we've ended up now, where you, we're using inhalers, we've uncovered some biological mechanisms that are actually allowing us to give targeted medicines for specific components of the allergic inflammation. So we're not trying with different allergy shots anymore. Where I mean, that, that still has a role. So all of these things sometimes do still have a role, but it's uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, we can tailor treatments so much more than we used to. So yeah. Amazing comment. Thank you very much for sharing, uh, Linda. Uh, thank you. All the best uh, for all of you and good health.